Hello friends, today now we are going to study the electrophoresis. So what is the electrophoresis? The electrophoresis is the migration of the charged particle under the influence of the electric field. Electro means the charged particle and the phoresis means the moment. The many, many important biological molecules such as amino acid, peptides, protein, nucleotides, nucleic, nucleic acid the possess ionizable the group and therefore at the any given pH exist in the solution as electrically charged species either the cation and anion. Under the charge of electric field, these charged particles will migrate either the cathode to anode and the depending on the nature of their net charge, this is one of the most fundamental possess used in all type of molecular biology and RDT experiment. Definition of the electrophoresis The electrophoresis is the migration of the charged particle or molecule in a medium under the influence of the applied electric field. The rate of migration of the charged molecule depends on the following factors. The strength of the electric field, size and shape, the relatively hydrophobicity of the sample ionic strength and the temperature of the buffer, the molecular size of the taken biomolecule, the net charge density of the taken biomolecules, the shape of the taken biomolecules. In the process of the electrophoresis, large molecule have more difficulty in moving through the supporting medium that is the gel, whereas the smaller medium has more mobility throughout it. What is the principle? The principle, the electrophoresis, the technique is based on the principle that charged particle in the liquid media under the influence of the electric field will migrate to the electrode of the opposite charge. The positive ion means cation will migrate to the cathode and that is the negative electrode and negative ion means anion will migrate to anode positive electrode the molecule get a force of the applied electric field pulling them in one of the direction which is given by the F that is the formula F equal to E Q where F is the force and E is the electric field and Q is the charge on the molecule. Thus the greater the charge on the molecule the greater or the greater the force required and molecule will move faster. However, the molecule with a large mass will move slowly. It clear from the fact that the electropho electrophoretic mobility of a molecule depends on its charge to mass ratio. The classification or type of the electrophoresis first um, free electrophoresis. In this type, the electrophoresis of uh, free electro uh, electrodes is taken in the place of the supporting media. Nowadays, in this type of the electrophoresis has become outdated and mostly used in non-biological experiment. It is mostly of the two types of the microelectrophoresis, which is most mostly used in the calculation of the zeta potential, a colloidal property of the cell in a liquid medium of the cell and moving the boundary electrophoresis, which for many years has been used for the quantitative analysis of the complex mixture and the micromoles, micromolecules, especially protein. The zone electrophoresis, this is the most prevalent electrophoretic technique of this day. In this type of electrophoresis, the separation process is carried out on the stabilizing media as discussed. The zone electrophoresis is one of the types, one of the following types, that is the paper electrophoresis, cellulose, acetate electrophoresis, capillary elect electrophoresis, gel electrophoresis, which further in include agarose, gel electrophoresis, SDS and page, PFGE and two-dimensional electrophoresis. Third, paper electrophoresis. In this type of the electrophoresis, a filter paper like the chromato uh, chromatographic paper having the slight absorption the capacity and uniform the pore size is used as a supporting medium for the separation of the sample under the influence of an applied electric field. While carrying out the paper electrophoresis, a strip of the paper is moistened with the buffer and end of the strip are immersed into the buffer 
reservoir the containing the electrodes and the sample are stopped in the center of the paper the high volt voltage is applied and spot migrate according to their charge and after that when the electrophoresis is separated the component can be detected by the variety of staining technique depending upon the chemical identity applications the serum analysis for the diagnostic purpose is carried out by paper electrophoresis in the muscle protein myosin egg protein albumin milk protein casein snake and insect venoms have been satisfactorily analyzed using the paper electrophoresis the disadvantage of this it is very time taking around 14 to 16 hours are needed for the process of the complete separation fourth the cellulose acetate electrophoresis it is modified the version of the paper electrophoresis developed by the con in 1958 in this type of the electrophoresis the bacteriologically acetate membrane the filter are taken in place of the regular chromatography paper application especially used for the clinical investigation such as the separation of the glycoprotein lipoprotein and hemoglobin from the blood the following advantages and this uh, advantages like that and the following advantages of the cellulose acetate strip or the chromatography paper the cellulose acetate strip are chemically pure and free of the lignin and hemicellulose and generally act as a barrier in free movement of the large molecule because of the low content of the glucose cellulose acetate strip either the suitable for electrophoresis of the polysaccharides next the cellulose acetate is not hydrophilic and this hold very little buffer which further help for a better resolution in the short time the capillary electrophoresis capillary of the narrow bore tube is employed to separate the sample based on their size ratio size charge ratio the capillary electrophoresis is relatively new separation technique compared to the traditional technique such as agarose gel electrophoresis it provides the very attractive features which make it both competitive and good alternative and one of the major advantages of the capillary electrophoresis over other separation technique is ability to separate both charge and non charge molecule in capillary electrophoresis the separation of electrolyte uh, separation of analyte ion and performed in electrolyte <coughs> solution the background electrolyte present in the narrow fused silica capillary the end of the capillary are immersed into vial and in in uh, inlet and outlet the filled with the electrolyte solution which also contain electrodes connected to high voltage supply the sample solution is introduced in the capillary by a small plug by applying the pressure hydrodynamic injection or voltage electrokinetic injection with the application of the high voltage 5 to 30 kV across the capillary zone of analyte and formed due to the different electrophoretic mobilities of ion and the species and migrate toward the outlet side of the capillary in fact the different ion can be separated when their charge size ratio differ before reaching the end of the capillary the separated analyte bands are detected directly through the capillary wall these are the applications what is the applications uh, the electrophoresis the capillary electrophoresis is used in the following analysis of the food pharmaceutical product and environmental pollutant advantages it is the high separation efficiency short analysis time the low sample and electrolyte consume consumption the low waste generation is of operation disadvantages due to the small diameter of the capillary tube heat it dissipated that the causes increased diffusion due to this is the resolution is not always proper the gel electrophoresis next the gel electrophoresis the gel electrophoresis involved in the use of gel as a supporting media for the separation of the dna rna and protein under the influence of the electric charge it is usually performed for the analytical purpose but may be used 
for the preparative technique uh, to partially purify molecule prior to use for the other method such as the mass spectrometry pcr cloning dna sequencing and amino blotting this is the most commonly used electrophoresis in the biotechnology laboratories and is used for the almost all type of experiment in rd a typical gel electrophoresis apparatus is of two kinds vertical and horizontal in in that the separation of the protein is ds page and in the horizon in case of horizontal gel apparatus it is used the amino electrophoresis electrophoretic focusing and electrophoresis of the dna and rna in the agarose gel the type of gel electrophoresis agarose gel electrophoresis is ds page like the sodium ductile sulfate the polyacrylamide acrylamide gel electrophoresis the pulse field gel electrophoresis the two dimensional electrophoresis application of agarose gel electrophoresis the separation of restrictions enzyme digested dna including the genomic dna prior to the southern blood the transfer it is often used for the separation rna prior to northern transfer the analysis of the pcr product after the polymerase chain reaction to assess for the target dna amplification allowing the estimation of the size of the dna molecule using the dna marker or ladder which contain the dna fragment of various known sizes allows the rough estimation of dna quantity and quality the quantity is assessed using the lambda dna ladder which contain the specific amount of dna in the different band the quality of the dna is assessed by the observing the absence of the streaking or fragment or containing the dna band other technique re- relay on the agarose gel electrophoresis for the dna separation including the dna fing- fingerprinting the advantages or disadvantages of agarose gel the advantages are that the gel is easily poured or, and does not denature the sample and the sample can be also recovered the disadvantages are that the gel can melt during the electrophoresis the buffer can become exhausted and the different form of genetic material may run in unpredictable form application of sds and page it is most it is mostly used for the following purpose establishing the protein size the protein identification determining the sample purity identity identify the disulfide bond and the quantifying protein blotting applications the advantages of that the mobility of the molecule is high uh, separation high and separation is rapid and all the protein are negative charge therefore all the migrate toward anode the protein treated with sds fixed dyes are better than the negative native protein and sds the solubilizes uh, solubilizes all the protein including a very hydrophobic and even the denature protein hi guys this is my more video please like and subscribe Thank you.